Hi, my name is Ravi Shamsuddin. I'm a mortgage banker with Sante Mortgage. Today, we want to talk about how to fill out the homestead exemption form and send it to the county prior to April 30th. So, if you lived in the home that you own on January 1st, you will be eligible to file the homestead exemption for this year. If you forgot to file it last year, you can also request for previous year. To uh, find the homestead exemption form, you can go to hcat.org. You go under Forms, Popular Forms, and then you select Homestead Exemption. You don't need to fill out the account number, but if you'd like to find it, you go to Property Search, you go to prop Real Property, you put your address, and your account number is right here. So you put it in this section. You put the year you want to file the Homestead Exemption form. You also enter it again over here, the date you moved in the property, it will also ask you if you own the property, you select yes, you put your name, actually full name, and then you put your driver license number, I wouldn't put social security number, and you put your date of birth. I own the property as a community with my wife, so I'm going to select this. If you didn't own it with a spouse, you just put percentage on and you put 100%. Uh, also here you enter your mailing address. It could be your property address. You would put your city and state and you would put the phone number. You would also, in page two, enter the physical address, which is also your address. Legal description is not required, but if you want to know your legal description, it is available in this section right here. You will put your account number again. To find out how many acres your house is, if you know the lot size of your property, let's say 8,000, you divide that by an acre, which is around 43,000. So for me, it's 0 0.18. If this is a manufactured home, you put it in this section. If you own a property part of shares, you select yes or no. And if you're only filing homestead exemption, you select general homestead exemption. If you qualify for other exemptions like disability or age of 65 or surviving sp spouse, then you will select these other options. In this section, the only thing that you want to do is put your name, your spouse's name or the other owner, you sign, date it, print it. Now, if you own the property with a uh, someone that you got married with common in law or same-sex marriage, then you fill out this affidavit and have it notarized and send it with the rest of the documents. You need to have a copy of your ID with your address showing and you mail it to this address. If you have any questions about filing this homestead exemption, please give me a call at 832-408-0806. Thank you.